All right, we are in for a burn burner. This is our, our wrap up webinar. This is the fast final FAQ for free funnels. We're, we're, we're talking free funnels today. I'm here with Michael Tessalona. Um, this is really exciting. This is for our sales domination, personal coaching. And, and you know, Michael and I were just having a wonderful conversation leading up to this event. And, and, and I love fly on the wall stuff for what I do. You know, I, that there's a lot of businesses, politics, what have you, where fly on the wall stuff, you'd really have to hold your nose, right? Like if you really knew what was going on behind the scenes of a lot yes. of things going on these days, you would be holding your nose, all right? E even, you know, even for something that's, you know, I'm not talking about like just diabolical stuff. I'm just saying how this restaurant is run, how this <laughs> merchant, you know, uh, yeah. is doing their business, how, you know, like all, all kinds of different stuff. But here, let me tell you what it's like behind the scenes here in our world, in our Cooked Up in Amsterdam Mastermind and with sales domination, personal coaching, is we are free funnel uh, obsessed. We're just totally like, uh, even just minutes leading up to this webinar, yes, we're prepared for the webinar, but the way we prepare for the webinar is we're, we're just digging in shoulders deep with our own agencies um and uh we just had this it was great there was a kind of a magical moment just a, a, a minute ago that i want to kind of recreate for you and i was saying to michael you know it's such a special thing just stepping back for a second what eric's been able to accomplish right what eric what eric brief has been able to accomplish um and of course i'm some assuming you know you're pretty aware of sales domination if you're not uh, I'll, I'll you know we'll give you the uh, original uh, fantastic my funnels webinar replay that just had people rocking and rolling and they loved it um this, this extraordinary personal coaching program but i'm going to speak to you as if you're aware of it right now i think that'll help um and if not just you know we'll get the cut off. there's replays yeah so um so i was saying to michael you know it's such a special thing that eric has because like when he was when eric was working for one of the dirty dinosaurs he was at uh, uh whatever it was yodel and uh, web.com, whatever it is. Now. They, they got bought out by web, yeah. So yeah, exactly. Yodel, he worked there, they got bought out by web. One of the largest, um, one of literally the largest digital agencies uh, in the in the world. I think they it was like $2.2 .2 billion IPO that they had. Mm -hmm. And Eric, among hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of salespeople, number one salesperson in New York City office for four yeah. years in a row. Yeah, unbelievable. So he had, he had so much success with that, but, um circa 29 you know circa very end of 2019 basically the beginning of 2020 when you guys started pm dawn or uh, pm now your pm now seo agency yeah. uh, which services it specializes in high quality uh heating and air conditioning um contractors you know you're going out you're tracking down the best of the best the guys although there uh, were dozens of niches that we could have gone after like yeah. dozens if not hundreds oh, of niches yeah, we could have yeah. gone after that's and been great. equally as successful yeah such a great example niche or you could all you're, you guys all could get into hvac there's so much yes it's, it's also wide open anyways um circa 2000 when you guys started your agency like right at the beginning of COVID, he didn't like he had a, a great background but he didn't have a business and yeah. he had to hustle, hustle, hustle. And it was funny because you and I were talking about it, you know, because now you guys, I sent out an email today. I said, you know, are you 90% of the way to $100,000 a month business? I asked you that. Of course, I, you know, Michael yeah. is quite literally 90, 90%, <laughs> 90, 90 but, but, but I meant it, but I, I did mean it. It was a play on words in the sense, yes, I meant it literally in the sense of Michael and Eric, in the sense of Greg Morrison and, and Dan Anton, right? Their agency is is right uh, right up on around ninety thousand dollars a month, maybe a little bit less. Um, so literally ninety you know ninety percent of the way, yes. But but also equally as importantly, you know, and they work together, they build each other. It's an upward spiral. Is are you are you as you're watching this right now, even if you don't have a single client yet, not one, uh, or if you've been spinning your wheels with just a few clients, uh, or if you've hit. 10 15 grand that's where michael was by the way and it's no small thing michael that was great how freaking different is it going from 10 grand a month to, to yeah yes <laughs> yeah no no it's 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 a world of difference but what's what's really fascinating is i'm actually um it's i'm i'm much happier with the agency now 
because the way that we've built it, and this is really core to the sales so domination you training. Running yourself ragged. At, at least at 10K a month, yeah. you should supposedly be able to keep it, you know, small and lean and mean. No, it was actually harder for you to run that $10,000 a month. Yes. Agency. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And the point and, I was trying to make is point. like, yeah, yeah this, the, the point I was trying to make is like the, the sales domination training, it's it's about like really being able to dive into a niche and, and then it's also perfect. figuring out, it's figuring out like, well, when you're in that niche, what do you do there? You know, what can you build? I had a, we had, a, you know, it's personal coaching and on our last personal coaching call, I had a, um, a member, an apprentice who was saying, you know, he was asking, um, you know, he was asking about, uh, oh my God, I completely lost my train of thought. Mike, can you just pick it up and then I'll, I'll just, I'll try to get this yeah, out. I just yeah. want to BS my way through this. I got to figure out no, where. No, 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 uh, no, no problem. Well, what Sorry, I was, what I was saying is the email I sent out was that you're, you know, like both kind of literally or figuratively, are you 90% oh, of the way to, to building a $100,000 a month business? And this is what I said about things with Eric. And we'll certainly get back to what, what Michael was saying. Yeah, I remember now. But, yeah. Um, but the thing was, and, and maybe just write it down some notes so we don't just kind of go in a loop. Um, so what happens is, you know, I'm saying, I'm talking to Michael, we're getting ready for this webinar. Um, and I say to him, you know, for Eric, it's just never going to be the same. And, and it was great. Michael said something great. It was true. And I liked it. But then I thought of something even better. So Michael was like, you know what? If Eric had to start from scratch right now, he would be able to blaze into things anywhere he could get dropped off. Anywhere in the world with nothing, with nothing, and he, he'd be back on his feet. But I said, you know what? Something even better. He doesn't fucking have to. How about that? You don't have to. Pardon my French, but they yeah. have $80,000 a month SEO agency, so they don't have to make a new agency. They have a beautiful, yeah. uh, a bold, brassy Instagram, right, for the success. Mm. I mean, like how, like when you're showing clients your Instagram, that's all about your HVAC clients laughing all the way to the bank with monster rankings, getting all these phone calls. I mean, what do people say? Like, where did you guys come from? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's extraordinary. It, it speaks to the, um, it speaks to the training, you know, that's available, the SEO training. Um, one of the things that I'm, I'm most proud of is that if you build your agency right, you can get way better results than if you were just doing, you know, uh, like what I did, what I, when, when I built up a 15, $20,000 agency on my own with these like, you know, random clients, the, the work product that I'm giving out today is way better. It's, it's so, it's so much higher. The result, the uh, results that clients are getting are so much better. My relationships with the clients are better, but the yeah. reason is, is because of the sales process. You know, with sales domination, it's like, you know, it's a personal coach. And, I, and I'm sorry, guys, if I come across as like too salesy with this. This is something I, I truly believe in. Well, and, you know? and, and, and like, by the way, this is also why we only market for a short set period of time, because yeah. Michael is not a sales guy. Eric is not a sales guy, at least not for your guy stuff. They, they do, they have a funnel. They have an incredible free funnel that has to do everything with providing extraordinary service to HVAC people in a way that's utterly replicable, especially once you get apprenticeship coaching with these guys. That's that's where you're gonna become a millionaire. Uh, it's, it's just known, it's known. Like apprenticeship yeah. is, you know, uh, I, I actually wrote a, a lengthy email about um, about David Mills's, um, he's a really good one, uh, about David uh, David's third uh, recent law of application webinar. And I said in it, that that drilling like like drilling and this is what michael's talking about it's like it's one thing to try try to learn karate out of a book right but ah, then the perfect. police show up and they're going to whip your ass right yeah uh, but but you have to drill you have and this is it drilling is ut utterly known in athletics right like tom, tom brady doesn't just show up and say okay uh, i'll see you on sunday right like he's Tom Brady. No, no, Tom Brady. Right, right, like the, the second he joined the Bucks, he was blowing up the wide receiver's phones in a way that they'd never seen, even though they'd been in the NFL for years. He found a whole school uh, that, that would allow him and the players to to drill on their fields and and do the groundkeeping for them and take care of it and, and take care of all that. Like first he tried public parks. He got kicked out of public parks. Literally, I didn't hear about that. Yeah. And he got kicked out. They were like, "Get out!" Right, Tom Brady. 
screw you, Tom Brady. Right? Yeah, yeah, your supermodel wife. I think right. it's um yeah, I, I think that's like really great because what else Tom Brady has is coaches. Exactly. You know, Tom Brady well, Tom Brady, Brady has out. coaches and you know well, he didn't and, become and, Tom Brady without coaches either. Right. How do you draw without coaches? You you do BJ, BJJ. I was I was a championship wrestler, right? Mm -hmm. You can't learn without drilling and you can't drill without a coach. It's just you can't. It's just not and um and, and, and there's just a way in which this cascades and cascades and cascades, both with our strategy uh, and our thinking, you know, in our own mind and with our real world business, right? We know what we're talking about with this. One of the things that, that I'm going to, um, I've kind of set things up really nicely for, for Michael. I, I think that he's uh, kind of ready to go on a bit of a owner. I got a few things to say. I got a few things. So let me turn things over to Michael because what I've tried to do is to set Michael up. To, to have the mind space that I think that you're probably in right now. If you're thinking about joining sales domination, personal coaching, and you're really looking for that $100,000 a month agency, because that's what you're going for. You ain't joining this for any other reason. You're like, you're not doing it. I mean, can we get you to 10K? Yes. And is that awesome? Yes, it is. Oh yeah, it's awesome. And yeah. it's a great, awesome step to 100K, which is where we want you. So with that, with that set up, with that said, let me turn things over to Michael. I'm actually gonna cut my webcam. If Michael, if you wanna ask me to come back on, I am yeah. here, I'm suspenseful with a pencil. I'm not gonna go anywhere, but, uh, but let me uh, let the focus fully go on to Michael Teslona. Also, there is, uh, if you're on live with us today, there's a commemorative PDF that I uh, set up for you uh, somewhere here on this, uh, in your GoToWebinar interface that you can enjoy. All right, Michael, take it away. Cool. Well, the first thing is this is a Q&A webinar. So um, if you guys can, be, can give me like three dollar signs in the question box, just to let me know that, you know, you're here, you're engaged, you know, you're listening. If we just get some uh, some dollar signs in there. Thank you, David, Debbie, uh, Christian, Michael, Diana, Eric. Thank you, guys. So, um, you know, one thing uh, to sort of like just piggyback Patrick to Denusia. So, all right, you guys are you guys are engaged. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna reply to the chat, Larry. Um, also, as you guys like, let's have a conversation. You know, let's have a conversation here. So, you know, I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm, it's really just me and and all of you. And so, you know, as you have questions, we're gonna be talking. You know, Anna, what's up? You know, please just as you have questions, as we're talking here, throw them in there. You know, and and we can we can really like make this an interactive thing and. And um, I promise that, um, you know, for you guys, making this interactive is going to be the way that you're going to get the absolute most out of this webinar. And I'm here to give as much as I possibly can to you. Um, and then what you're also going to be doing is not only are you going to be helping yourself, but you're also going to wind up helping everybody who watches this replay. Because the more that you're going to participate, you're going to get the most out of it by far. But then everybody else who's getting the replay, they're going to see those questions and they're going to see these interactions. So Larry had asked, should I watch the prior Webby replay to catch up? I think since you're here, Larry, you know, just stick with me. You know, stick with us, and you know, we'll uh, we'll get uh, we'll get stuff. So yeah, I'll give it. I'll give a summary and a review. But let me get this uh, this this one um, this this one idea out. You know, and this is what we were. I was talking to to Mike about. You know, just prior to this, uh, prior to us, like you know, going live and broadcasting this, is that um, you know, Eric didn't know anything about sales. You know, there was there was a point in time, and it wasn't that long ago, that Eric was just a um, just an artist. You know, he was like quite, I don't know if he was starving, but he was definitely having trouble making ends meet, and he was an artist. And um, he, he, joined, uh, he joined the sales team at Yodel, and what he had there at Yodel was a lot of things in his favor. You know, he basically had, a lot of vectors pushing him in the right direction. You know, and you think about that, what, what type of vectors would that be? Well, number one, you know, and, and by the way, these are not things that you guys need to be successful. We've organized sales domination so that it is this for you. Um, so the things I'm about to list are not things that you need, but I'm, I just, I'm trying to put a little bit more color around what Eric had, which allowed him, which propelled him to success and how those are mirrored in the sales domination program. So what did he have? Number one, he had he was surrounded by other people who were uh, were trying to accomplish a similar goal. 
he was literally surrounded by people who you know were were picking up the phone and and by the way like the free funnel method is is like way easier and it's way more effective than what he was doing back then but you know he had people who were you know uh teaching him how to write a script teaching him how to use a script um listening to him um, do a script, giving him personal coaching, giving him, you know, personal commentary on what he was doing. And he was surrounded by all these people who were, who were doing the same thing, role play, exactly. Every morning when they would go in, um, they would have role play with people who actually knew what they were talking about. And then what he had is he had a manager. And if you've, if you've spent any time with Eric, you know, he'll always talk about this manager, this coach that he had, who was able to listen to his demos. So he would basically, you know, he'd have a sales call, we call them a demo, with a prospect, and then his manager would go back and would listen to it, and he would give him pointers about like, hey, you know, in this situation you do this, in this situation you have that, you know, and those were the things that really propelled Eric to the number one spot in that New York City office. I think he did it in something like five months. It wasn't necessarily that, you know, he's, you know, this this standout person, which he which he is, but what really what really made it special was that he was standout at using a process, and that's a process that's been refined and gotten even even better, you know, since then. So if you guys if if that's sort of like if that makes sense to you guys, if you guys could just like put in coach in the in the chat box or something, just so like I know that I'm not you know on a rant here, and I, I can I can see that you guys are you know are here, yeah. You know, that's, that's, that's basically it. You know, it's, it's really the power of coaching and it's also the power of having people, you know, around you, you know, having people, he was, he wasn't the number one draft pick. No, he was not definitely not the number one draft pick, but it's, it's the power of having people, you know, around you and um, who are trying to do a similar goal. So like in the, in the sales domination Facebook group, um, you know, you have all of the people there who are really like, Sales domination, if you get involved with sales domination, you're not just playing to have like a little side hustle here. You know, this is like you're playing to like really, really win. You know, you're you're playing to like have a massive impact on other people. You're playing to have a massive impact on your community. You know, you can create jobs, you know, or you can keep it small also. You know, that's also a great thing. And and to have a great lifestyle and to have a great um, income for your, you know, for your for yourself and for your family. Um so what what I'm reminded of is um, we have these team calling sessions, and the team calling sessions that we have like you know every week, um, it's very very interactive, kind of similar to like you know what we have here. And Larry's talking about you know shared experiences and encouragement and how that all helps you know to to help somebody you know get successful, you know be successful in this. And so anyway, I was on um I was on one of the team calling sessions. Um, I think it was um, late last week. It may have been on thir on Thursday, and someone asked me. It was it was something like, you know, is making an SEO sale hard? And and I thought to myself, and and like the first thing that I thought of is like, well, compared to what? You know, like compared to you know selling um, you know ice cream on like at a fair on a really really hot day. It's like, uh, well, maybe in comparison to that, I guess. You know, I mean, with ice cream, it kind of just like, you know, uh, sells itself. Everybody knows what they're going to get. It's a really low price point, you know, very little, um, very little skin in the game for that. And then I started thinking about it. And what I said to this, this member is I'm like, uh, uh, you know, by, by, by the way, try, try to make a, try to make a hundred thousand dollars a month selling ice cream. By the yeah. Way. Thank you. Thank you for that. But what, but then what I realized is I'm like, I don't view sa sales as hard at all. I'm like, I, like, I don't view SEO sales as hard. Like, I mean, we're getting sales every week, you know, like multiple sales a week. And I'm like, it's not hard at all. I'm like, and then, and then I thought to myself, I'm like, well, did you always think like that? I'm like, no, I used to think it was hard. I actually did used to think it hard. It was hard. You know, when I was doing this all on my own, you know, before I met Eric. I think that like, it was hard. Um, it was hard. Yeah, it was. It was. And, and I struggled and for the months. The number one reason it was hard. The number one reason it was hard. Because I know this, and it's so in my DNA. I remember when I met you at, at OMG Live the first time. You had a beard, um, and uh, it was the same as with everybody else. You're a, a, a good guy who is out there to like really, you know, do a good job for people, smarter than your average bear. But you were afraid of your clients, and everyone was afraid of their clients. That's a really good point. You know, I think that ultimately that is it. Yeah, you're right. 
this, this Holy is a break. Shit, Mike, you've got like oh, this insight, no. man. You're blowing my mind here. But the after game thing I said. Yeah. I said the game thing that no one else, I, almost nobody else gets to see. What did, what, what did it say? David Mills said, you, you yeah, fall, in love, fall in love more. Well, but, and you also heard this from David Mills over 10 years ago mm -hmm. say that you cannot be afraid of your wife. Yeah. Yeah. No, and, no, it's and, true. And not by bluster, not by, and yet he also said that on, uh, yesterday's webinar, I believe, or at least the week before, the, the, the same idea. Oh, it was it was the week before he said that he, so many men he talked to um, would would say, oh, you'll know when, 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 you know, you'll know, you know, when you're afraid of your wife, you'll know, and, and then you'll, you'll know what I mean. And David was like, no, I will not. And I remember I was at his wedding. I remember when a guy said that to me. It mm. was like, um, it was poignant. It was, this is personal, but hey. So it was a guy, D David's wife, Olya, um was like a a top earner in her town like she made you know like 10 times as much as her maid or something like that right so she worked at like a uh some sort of a finance company she was getting her master's degree um but uh the the, the hilarious thing was that david was freaking broke at the time when he met her and he probably made uh, made no more than 10 or twenty thousand dollars. like maybe if you added his best magic of the gathering earnings year with him also teaching a speed learning course, maybe that year he made 20 grand, right? Wow. And other than that, it would be like 10 grand or less. I and mean, he just lived very, very frugal. Um, this is his you know, college years, late college years. He was you know, in his 20s. He lived in like a, a little single bed efficiency uh, that's not even a whole room. It, it was clean, it was nice, but it wasn't, it just was nothing, you know, fancy. And so it was hard getting her into America because he looked like he was broke. I looked like I was broke. I'd been so up and down mm -hmm. in business. I, I was by far willing to sponsor her, but I didn't have the tax returns to do it. And so I had to find a friend. I found a friend to do it. And we'll, to this day, we, we remember it, that, him for it. But there was somebody who could have done it for her and he didn't do it because he said, and he told David, because he was afraid of his wife. And he, wow. because the wife is afraid that that it was like, you know, some sort of an intrigue or, or in some way that they could get caught up in it or whatever. And, and the guy said to David, I, w I was there, I was at the wedding and he was like, cause he was a nice guy. He was like, I, w I really wish I could have made this easier for you. You'll understand when, um, you know, when you're afraid of, oh yeah. He didn't say He's that. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's where the state of the art was in SEO client consulting before you and Eric Brief showed up on our doorsteps, dropped yourselves off on our doorsteps you contacted David Mills. <laughs> Howdy. Knock, knock, okay. knock. Yeah, Puerto and, Rican here. And, and because part of the implication, when David saw um, Eric's parallel sales process, David immediately knew that Eric was building for a sales process where he would not be afraid of his clients. Clients. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, no, that's going to be great. Someone, so, someone said first round pick. Mel, Mel Kiffer, who's a, uh, this is a brand new article. This is by Mel Kiffer uh, Jr. Um, this this is, uh, just came out a day ago. This guy's a, a world famous analyst, and all he does is focuses on the NFL draft. And he wrote this article saying these are the top ten uh, quarterback prospects I've ever said were you know that he evaluated guys like John Elway. John Elway's number one, um, who's a famous you know Hall of Fame uh, Super Bowl winning quarterback. And it just struck me. I want to quickly count up. The top 10 of, of uh, these guys were almost all picked first in the draft, or they were in a draft where there was another overwhelmingly stellar quarterback. And I'm going to count up how many Super Bowls they won compared to Tom Brady, who was like in the sixth round. So John Elway is number one. He got, I think, two Super Bowls. Andrew Luck, zero. A great quarterback, but zero. Peyton Manning, two? One or two? One? He won one, one with the Broncos. I think it's maybe just one. I think it, I I think it might be two. Really? Did he win with the Colts? I think I he won with the Colts. Can, is, uh, can somebody look that up real quick? If, if somebody happens to happen. Christian happen says two. Michael says two. I believe it's two. Okay, so let's say it's two. All right, Trevor Lawrence, he's new. Uh, Jim Kelly, zero. He made the four Super Bowls, but zero. Uh, Andre Ware uh, was a bust. Drew, Drew Bledsoe made the Super Bowl, but zero. Did not win. Ryan Leaf was a bust. Troy Aikman, great, great quarterback. Three Super Bowls. I know that one. Uh, so let's count it up. And Josh Allen who's with the Bills now, who could win a Super Bowl, but has not yet. That's that's number 10. So th this is the greatest focus analyst of all time, trying to like cherry pick, like these are the best guys. 
and the total is Troy Aikman three, we'll call um, uh, Peyton two, which I think it is, and then two more for LA. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's actually one less than Tom Brady. Yeah, okay. that's wild. The top, the top 10 quarterback prospects of all time for over, let's say almost, because he's this is his career, it's like 40 years into this. He said this started in like 1979. There's a reason I'm saying this is, obviously, to be the best at quarterbacking, it's not what these guys thought. Like all, like what all the analysts, all the coaches, all the quarterbacks themselves were a different player than Tom Brady. Tom Brady decided to approach the, the game in an entirely different way and just be utterly obsessed with conditioning and coaching and drilling. Just to be utterly, utterly, utterly obsessed with conditioning, drilling and coaching, including, you know, how he takes care of his body and stuff like that. And, and he just surpassed them all, like all of them, right? It was not yeah. even a first round pick. And that's what it's like having Eric brief. But the, the point is, we're a quarterback factory. We're not just a, you know, wow, it's cool that we've got a great quarterback. I mean, look at, do you think that Greg Morrison, give me a number one, if you realize that Greg Morrison is probably not the best SEO sales guy in the world. Give me a number one, if you figure, uh, he did one win, win one with the Colts. Yeah, everyone's saying, I know. And, and guilty us for, for, for scheduling this on top of Greg's webinar, I guarantee you. If you're actually managing to watching this webinar and Greg's webinar, please uh, give me a hashtag, because I bet that there's at least one person. I'm getting text messages, because I'm, I'm working on my agency and we've got a website, and I wanted to ask Greg some questions myself. Uh, George is, yes! George is actually on both this webinar. I, which go to webinar doesn't even allow, so he must be somehow doing it through two devices uh, or through log like, ins. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so so here's my point: is we're a quarterback factory. Okay, so first we were like an SEO factory, then we became a funnel factory. I need to write that down. <laughs> Mike's like, ooh, that was good. Going on the replay tomorrow. I was like, ooh, that was good. All right, uh, my, you'll, my see, work you'll see that on an email. You'll see it on an email later. Time for tomorrow's email. Thanks everyone for showing up and helping. <laughs> Um, I'm yeah, joking. no, it, it is. It is. A, it is a, a quarterback. Is a you, can tell by, you can tell by the the results. You know, you have so many people who are and, not talking and, about and getting one client. They're talking about getting ten clients. Systematic. Your agency looks like Greg's agency. Gre guys, Greg. Greg can't spell funnel. I mean, he can't. He's great in a lot of ways, but it's not his thing. Like, and definitely sales. Like definitely you you stick greg in a room or sorry like about like there are certain things that greg can do inside of a funnel and funnels he's created that are really spectacular i mean compared to him as the goat of seo right so he's he's staggeringly better in a lot of situations selling gold selling you know, he can be great with affiliate funnels but i mean being nose to nose with an seo client like Greg, Greg gets almost sick when we do OMG Live and stuff like that. You know, it's hard for him. Like when we did that huge one in 2016, he was, I think he did throw up before he went on, literally, you know? Wow. So yeah. he's, he, I remember he, talking he, to him before he went on and he was saying he was nervous. I'm like, dude, everybody here thinks you're a legend. You have no reason to be nervous. Yeah, but, yeah. And, but yeah, he is. Well, we had Freddie on that webinar. Somebody asked about the previous webinar, which, which will, we'll, uh, before the webinar wraps up, I'll give you the replay, uh, or the, the replay link here and then also if um we don't want anybody watching three webinars at once two's enough um but uh but anyways uh, I'll, I'll get that out to you but the the thing is and i, I want to kind of cut the circuit back on for for mike uh, michael to be able to to riff a little bit and look at uh, look at yeah, the i've got a few notes here things yeah i know i figured i i i kind of know um but that's it started with greg morrison it started when david made an seo factory and at that time we knew funnels were going to be critically important but we had to start with what we had okay that's it this is all we could do and so we started with seo and we let the funnels and the sales largely take care of themselves although i helped tremendously i, I invented that whole national seo i'm sure you've studied the national seo funnel michael that everyone studied it yeah um and it was you know it was the, the you know the like a lot of my stuff in that day was the basis uh for people's agencies but a lot like a lot like my SEO moves were the basis for a lot of like Greg Morrison's open moves back in Bring the Fresh days in a way where he so utterly surpassed me 
that it just, it's, you know, blindingly obvious. Like what I did with my agency has been blindingly in terms of creating a funnel has been blindingly and utterly surpassed by, by Eric Brief and Michael Tesalona joining forces. Um, they've allowed us, first we had an SEO factory. Now we have a funnel factory and we don't just have a funnel factory. We have a hundred thousand dollar a month funnel factory is what we have. And it's a very, it's a very special thing to be able to say that to you. Uh, Michael and Eric looked me in the eyes in New York City, said they were starting, the, this is end of 2019. Eric said, daggum it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start an agency. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get out there, you know, and I'm gonna make it happen. And I'm gonna build a $100,000 a month agency. He didn't say I'm gonna get to 10 grand a month. He didn't say I'm gonna get to 50, he said 100, okay? Yeah. Where are you? Our goal is, oh yeah, no, we're we're round. I, I haven't even checked. But, but we're like anywhere between like seventy eight and eighty two. But, like, but yeah, you see in the conversation, yeah. it's out, outlandish, mm. outlandish to to have called your shot, and then that Greg and Dan did the exact same thing at the exact same time, exact same numbers, exact same method, exact same software. Because if you're in tsunami yeah. and or director's cut, this is. This is Sorry. hand in glove here. This is, yeah. that's, that's why we have, oh my gosh, Diana Wong is too, by the way. I love you. Diana Wong is literally both on the Greg Morrison uh, webinar and on, I, I, I like there was, I, I have such a, a extraordinary situation going on right now. So Cassie's out of town. Let me explain this today's webinar. Cassie's out of town. Uh, she, she just got signed with this big agency, uh, modeling agency. It's going really, really well. It's really impressive, uh, but she's, she's gone um, for a week. And my building has, I have a, um, I'm on the 48th floor up here, okay, very high up. And my building has a private entry elevator where you go in that elevator and it drops you off at my floor. That's it. Like, like I'm, it, my, my hotel, uh, my elevator door's open and I'm in my, my apartment, right? Like, like a vestibule. Anyways, that, that elevator is broken. The service elevator is also broken and, and they've both been broken since Friday. Um, and so the, so I have absolutely no direct access whatsoever to leave this building besides the stairs. Oh, um, goodness. And, and I'm 40 floors up and I have gone down the stairs before cause there was an actual food? fire in my building. Yeah, I actually have done it. And so I was, do you have food? Everything. are you going to, I'm worried yeah, so for you, I, Mike. <laughs> yeah. So when I was planning this webinar and then I had a, and I had a meeting at one which, with an important affiliate uh, that we really want and I got to do it. And so, and, and three was just really like, I, I just knew because I had to get everything ready for this webinar. I had to get everything ready for the law of implication yesterday. We've got the close out of sales domination tomorrow. So I was like, I just can't, two, two is the only time. And I knew it was right up again, uh, against Greg's uh, webinar. But I am, I am honored that we have multiple people uh, who are on both. Um, so, okay, so, so, so but to, to set things up here, the thing I said about the quarterback factory, when you've got a quarterback factory, it turns out quarterbacks. Like, like when you when you have a high school that gets people into elite college programs at the quarterback level, it happens again and again and again. Yeah, that's true. It's, known yeah. thing. it's an absolute known thing in sports. Same thing happens with recruiting for uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And yeah, wrestling you know, also. You have certain sport. programs that just... Yeah, you, you just know, have programs that readers for success. You know where where the the culture is set up and the coaching is there. Yeah. There's the belief in the community. They have a magnetic draw. So the mm. smarter, the better people come, and blah 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 blah. This is a funnel factory, and a funnel factory has never existed before. This, especially not a free funnel factory. Yeah, that's huge. Say, say that ten times really fast. Especially not a free funnel factory. Okay, so a free funnel factory, right? Because this Dude, the last yeah, the last fifty thousand dollars or thereabouts per month that you guys have collected have been at a zero cost. Yeah, yeah, and it's because you know part of part of getting your factory down is like so. All right, let me let me back up a little bit, guys. So you know, um, I loved how Mike really was. He really got to the heart of the matter. That the reason that you know client getting was was hard was because you know I was scared of my clients or. Um, there was less, there was less like, you know, I'm definitely going to kill it for them. Um, 
I was on now, it's a completely different story. It's a completely different universe. It's a completely different reality because of all the success we've had. And you guys, if you haven't already, check out the PM Now Instagram just for, you know, just an idea of like what it's like. But um, anyway, where I was on this webinar, the team calling session, which is where we have our personal coaching, where, you know, we're able to to interact one-on-one -on -one with, uh, it's in a group setting, but one-on-one -on -one with, um, with sales domination members. And um, I realized that, you know, the reason why, one of, the, one of the big, many, many reasons why I look at sales as so easy now is because we've built so much. You know, like we've basically built something that makes sales extremely easy, you know, and like there's so many parts of what we've built. You know, we've built the funnel for it. We've built the Instagram for it. We've built, you know, we've, we've, um, in our onboarding form and our, our, our click up process, like all of these things have been built. We built relationships in the industry um, and all of these things have been built, which now make sales, you know, extremely easy. And I've learned a ton in the last year, you know, cause we, we've, you know, uh, with, with, uh, we, um, with sales domination, it's, it's at such a different level right now because of, the fact that PM now is at a different level. And what I mean by that is that sales, getting more sales in your agency, especially um, niche specific sales, it makes you better at SEO. It makes you better because you have so many more projects to work on, number one. Um, uh, Mike, I don't know if you, you turned your, your camera on on purpose or not. Um, okay. Number two, it makes you better at client management. And this is, this is a really big piece. I'm just gonna like touch on this and I'll get back to it a little bit later. The funnel doesn't end on the sale, guys. The funnel doesn't end on the sale. That's not all we go over in sales domination. The funnel is after the sale also. It's making sure your clients are happy and stick with you for years. And that's like, and then, and then also and you get referrals that from that. More one. That starts more one. I, I, I have, I mean, that, that's quite a nice break there. It's gonna basically wrap up like what, what I need uh, to do for you for this webinar, but it's really nice. It's like, this will be a real showcase, Michael. Uh, it's unique and special. We've never done this before. This is very, uh, like, uh, like I'll make sure that this video is in Maps Rainmaker so people have it as a resource because this what, what's about to happen, what I'm about to tell you is, is brilliant. Um, not to break my arm, patting myself on the back. Uh, well, not to a, say that any of the other stuff wasn't brilliant. Yeah, there's a fantastic question from Paul Jones we'll definitely get to. Uh, the answer quickly is yes. Uh, Paul, we do not pay for advertisements whatsoever to get clients. We don't run Google or Facebook ads whatsoever. Um, uh, and yes, you can. Uh, hey, Anna, uh, I know you've been emailing me. Uh, you can ask a question here. Yes, we're live. So th th this is kind of my final set of questions. This is gonna be so nice between this and the really rich stuff that we have in the question box, but this really sets you up. Uh, here's my question for you. This is a fi my final FAQ question. Michael Teslona, would you open up your magnificent PM now SEO Instagram channel and highlight three of your favorite posts and tell us what you like about it and relate it back to this, this enduring, special, um, empowering, personal, um, uh, free funnel process that has you having so much success, having you dancing in the streets, your customers dancing in the streets, their customers are better off, uh, it's a win, win, win all around. Michael, that's my question to you. Could you do that? Yeah, of course. Um, I just got to figure out how to share the screen. Sure. You're the presenter. I need to grab make presenter. I'm going to grab the presenter. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you something else also, which yeah, I think is going to is going to is going to. Sure. No one's seen this. And, and, so, and this is something that has never happened in internet marketing history. What it's about to happen right now yeah, is a I mean, special moment. So so look, guys. Um, <laughs> We track three, all right, so this is, I'm gonna give you guys some like training here also. Like, uh, so w one of the things like that we, we do with our clients is we track three main metrics, which is rankings, phone calls, and uh, traffic. And I realized, I'm like, you know what we should do is we should actually like color code our Instagram so that like the orange is about the traffic, the dark blue is about the phone calls, and then the light blue is about the rankings. And so um, you can sort of like flip through and, you know, all right, traffic's 60% up year over year, and this is just two months of working with us. The number of phone calls that they have just like up 40%, but it's already 416. It's already 400, it's four, like, so it was like already 300, and then it went up to four, 
like a 416, you know, I mean, it's, it's just, it's absolutely nuts what we've been able to accomplish, you know, and uh, I mean, I'm really, I'm really proud of that, but like that 416 phone calls. Yeah. Yeah. That was phone calls. But let me show you guys, let me show you guys this. Yeah. What does 416 phone calls mean? Oh, 416 phone calls means uh, here, let me get out my uh, handy dandy calculator. So 416, let's say that, um, I don't know, let's say like 50, 50% 50 of them, you know, are like actual, you know, actual like, you know, jobs that they can make. So that's 208 and you multiply it by the average ticket in my niche, which is 450, but let's bring it down. Let's say it's like 375, $78,000, you know, a month in one month. That's pretty, that's pretty nuts. But this is what this is. Yeah, it's like the impact that you can have on people is amazing. Like, so you're I've, making eighty thousand dollars a month by making other people eighty thousand dollars a month. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Thank you for putting it that way. way. Yeah. Thank you for putting it that way. way. No, that's that's really it's tremendous. A idea here. It's obviously not. Well, it's, it, it's also like, um, you know, it's also like, you know, the stability of your business. You know, I mean, you're selling ice cream cones. Like, you got to go next month and sell more ice cream cones. You know, but with SEO, you do a great job. Like. Your partners, your partners with this business. This is what I wanted to show you guys though. I've got so many um, like things to put on Instagram that I just, I just, I haven't gotten time to it. So like even today, you know, first time calls up 55%. I'm, I, I started putting them like IG. Here's another one, calls up 43%, 116. Here's another one, the, the traffic, the views on their GMB is up 161%. Here's another one the uh traffic's up 540 percent year over year um here's a few other ones like literally like I, i'm not i'm not sure I, I just i haven't had the time to make all these instagram posts and and mike when you say like oh you know tell me like you know which ones are you most proud of i'm like honestly like these things uh, i said it in one of the webinars and i'm just going to repeat it because i thought it came out so nicely is that like each of these each of these testimonial each of these case studies is like a shining star they truly it they truly are um, you know, we just did the math on on what this case study is. It is without doubt a shining star, but it's a shining star amongst an entire universe, an entire sky full of shining stars, and and that's awesome. I mean, it's it's great to be able to have an uh, an agency that way, like that. But you get that agency through sales because sales makes you better at SEO. Sales makes you better at SEO. Not only does it make you better at SEO, it makes you better at client management. And then the other thing is it's like, it also comes around again where sales makes you better at sales. So it's one of these things where, you know, as you start pushing this train, you know, like maybe in the beginning you haven't built everything and I'm about to tell you about what we've built, what this funnel really looks like, but you, maybe in the beginning you haven't built everything yet. So you're starting off slow, but then at some point, you know, like you just reach this like escape velocity or it's just, it just is moving on its own momentum. And that's, that's really what we've been able to achieve at PM now in really like just about 12 months. And I mean, that's, that's, that's phenomenal, guys. If you think about that, you know, what is possible to create in 12 months? Like, you can get yourself started for something that, you know, can really, really take you far. Pr pretty much like, like, like Mike was saying at the start, you know, Eric could start a, a new agency if he wanted to, but he don't need to. All right. So what do we, what do, uh, well, let me answer some questions before I get to like what the funnel actually looks like. Because this is something that I, I really, um, I've done a disservice to people in not being able to describe this with as much accuracy, but I have a little more clarity on it today. Thank you to, to Mike and our conversations, but let me um, answer some questions here first. So um, Danusia says, I just don't know where to begin. One part of me thinks it's too much to understand, and the other part thinks, yes, it's manageable. I'm broke again. I got a fair amount of time for the next two weeks. So... Um, De, uh, Denise, I'm, I'm really sorry if I'm mispronouncing, you know, your your name here. So for sales domination members, you need to be a part of Fusion or Maps Rainmaker in order to even get into the program. It's a next level personal coaching program, but you sort of need the background of either Fusion or um, or even OMG in the past or you know Ma uh, or Maps Rainmaker in order to sort of like yeah, you need to be at the table. SEO. Um, yes. Now, in a certain extreme circumstance, I'll say this because this is the second webinar and, and only um, we're also well into this webinar and only the like the really interested will hear me say this. So I, I feel very safe in saying this. Um, this is the only program that 
either David Mills or I have ever said that if you're down to your last few bucks and, and even if you were starting from scratch, and we've never said this with anything, and we've been a part of such greatness, okay? But, but because of the nature of this program, and it's, it's only uniquely because of the nature of this program, and I'll explain myself, that we've come out and said on multiple occasions, and, and I'm saying it now again, is that even if you're down to your last few bucks to make the payment, the first payment, do it. Like you'll get, I, I mean, worst case scenario, yeah, I get it. I can cancel your future payments. You know, we, uh, obviously it's a no refund program, but if it's absolutely, you can't do it, but you can do it. And even if you can't fulfill SEO yet, like you could always get in the process and do it and then get Rainmaker, you know, once you get a client, like if it was absolutely came down to that. And I will tell you this without, a, without any doubt in my mind, with no doubt in my mind, if, um, if I had a loved one family member in a desperate situation, um, this is what I would tell them to do. This is what I do. My, my funnel that got me uh, a $9,000 a month client, and I could get more. I just don't have time. God, I have so much, just so much, so much good stuff. Like with other great clients, with other great stuff that I'm able to do that's all in the same universe. My, but, Mike's around the clock going. It's, it's very no, impressive it was, to behold. It, it really when is. I came, when I came to Michael with the idea for this client, I thought maybe it was possible to uh, to have it be three thousand dollars a month. I I because I get coached too. Okay, just so you guys know, right? And I came to I came to Michael. It was this summer, and I said, "Okay, what do you think?" And Michael's like, "I think you should have a seven k." <laughs> yeah. And I was like, "Oh my god, that's brilliant!" And then it kind of snowballed in my head. And turned into nine thousand because I because I was able to offer more and I was able to do more. And but here's what's beautiful: the 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 process that I did, my funnel that I did, and it involves some some of me talking to a client, but it involves a lot of me not talking to the client. Just so you know, okay, like a ton. Even my proposal, my better my better proposals proposal is is templated almost exactly off of michael and eric's i made my own adjustments right mm -hmm. it's a different niche it's you know um it's just a different niche so obviously you make adjustments but they even help you with that and the client literally loved it i, I remember him walking around the proposal in his hand he just felt great so excited and month after month after month now i mean it's <laughs> been a while like since right after the election 9k a month right was that november yeah. December, january it's February now. It's four months. We're in March. Oh, it's March. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. It's yeah. Five, five times nine is forty-five thousand dollars, right? And I and I was thinking about a three k client package. I got coaching from these guys on, on like I'm on these coaching sessions. Like if you're on with Greg Morrison at a given time, chances are me too. You know, if you're on with Michael and Eric, some hey, sometimes guys, I'm not only on sometimes with Michael and Eric, but sometimes I'm on. With Michael yeah. and Eric, sometimes yeah. I'm in there free calling with them. We we had a whole two hour just blowout last week. Oh my gosh! Yeah, with Danker, yeah. that was nuts. Mm -hmm. and, and and we're and and by the way, we are testing new stuff because of that. We did a two hour webinar on team calling on the on the personal coaching webinar, and I was able to bring somebody on who's able to bring sales domination people new stuff. We're not ready to talk about it yet in the overall community because we're you know how we are, we're testing things out, we're proving things out, blah, 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 but it's happening and we're doing this. Like, my, uh, I, I was like quickly typing to Michael, like before this webinar started, oh, uh, because we're running uh, uh, some, some media tests and I'm sending them to, uh, to Michael. And oh, that's right, yeah. But this is what we're doing. Like, he's filling in these entries, I'm copying and pasting them, getting them over to the, uh, uh, to the team that we're working with. These are top black ops, super special ops, uh, you know, SEO guys that, have a different tie-in. This is what we're doing. Mike's got a great network. He knows literally everybody in the industry. So that well, it, it really helps dealer. all of us. I'm like an arms dealer, you know, yeah. like I'm like an arms dealer, but not for AK-47s and Black Hawk helicopters for, for the, um, for the yeah. implements of advantage. <laughs> the bomb SEO techniques. <laughs> yeah. Well, well yeah, I mean, it's secrets, it's software. Um, I was looking through, um, my, uh, email inbox, just something, you know, kind of just popped into my head. And I looked up when, cause these guys, they joined our personal coaching. Michael joined my personal coaching. 
And it was sure. $8,000, $7,000, 8000 I, I saw the- uh, I didn't have any money. I didn't have any money. money. When, when, when Dan Anton joined, Dan, Dan joined uh, w within probably weeks of when Michael joined, within a few, maybe even within a few days. Uh, Dan Anton joined, and they both joined in 2015, Project B. Yeah. 2015. And yep. Joe joined in Joe joined in 2012. Um, these people are real. I mean, Kelly Felix uh, and, and, and me and David Mills, we built Bring the Fresh. Um, Greg Morrison came up the ranks to Bring the Fresh. We didn't exactly have coaching, but the way David set it up was if someone was going to be successful, I would get in there and personally coach them, basically. That's and just, great. Yeah. And you can ask Greg. I mean, it goes back to that. Like, like I, I would talk to him uh, every couple weeks. Kelly would, too. Good, like and, and tip of the cap to Kelly. We got got Kelly Felix is running around again, causing may, uh, mayhem. It's all it's all. Wait, can I can I talk a little bit more about this funnel thing though? I really want to get yeah, this out. I want to make like, sure that people absolutely. are are able to get it. Yeah, so, go for it. Yeah, so I mean the funnel is it's on both ends. You know, it's like you get a funnel to get everybody into the agency, but then it, it's like on the other side, it's kind of inverted. It's more like an hourglass shape for you to have as much profit as you possibly can, you know, and for them to get as amazing results as possible. Yeah, what you're doing, this is a great idea. I love this yeah. idea. Well, because, let me let yeah, you know. Because, yeah, because I mean, this is this is true, by the way. And I, I can show you, I can show you inside of Sales Domination, the new training that we've released, the new content, because this is what we've learned in our agency. Like I said, the way to get better at SEO is to get more clients. And at this point, we've dug in so deep and, you know, we just learned so much that that there's just so much value that we can provide for you guys. So, no one's ever said that, by the way. No one no, in internet marketing history, no one's ever said the way to get good at SEO is to get more clients. Now, yeah. of course, he wasn't in the same mastermind with Greg Morrison, but still, yeah. beautiful. <laughs> so, um, so on the so on the top end of the funnel, it's everything that you guys would, would normally think. You know, like how do we get leads in? How do I, you know, how do I collect those leads? How do I nurture them? You know, we've we've spent a lot of time refining email sequences to make sure that if your method of getting people into the funnel is free calling, that all of those calls are as effective as possible. Um, there's weekly training and there's just hours and hours of like immersive coaching that you guys can have for every step of getting people in there, you know, getting people to the bottom of your funnel, you know, from, from those initial conversations, the scripting, how to deliver it, what to say when they say this. Literally, if you guys want, and, and there's people who have done this, there's members who have done this, who've taken it seriously, and they've just dove in, and they've just listened and listened and, and allowed Eric and his training to like immerse them with exactly what to say in any given, possibly any given situation, including, by the way, how to run the sales demo. Like multiple times, you know, even in the last like couple of weeks, our team calling has been, hey guys, listen to Eric do this demo live. And so you guys get to see, you know, and sometimes they close and sometimes they don't. Most of the times they close. But, you know, you guys get to see and, and really be a part of that. And it's an immersive environment. And that's like the real like coaching aspect of it. So, you know, we're, we're able to get you, you know, onto the How bottom. How many A to Z sales do you guys have uh, that you shared inside of the course? I would be surprised if it's less than five. At this point, so five, you know, like five end to end sales. And how many do you have recorded that you might really say? Yeah, yeah, I mean, all of all of them are recorded somewhere. It's a matter of just organizing all of this, you know, for members. And so you have like along the lines of 50 plus that you probably, are, yeah, we probably have 50. And of course, you know. you're cherry picking based on what you think is going to be the most helpful. Yeah. Like, but this is not like you made one sale, you're showing it. That's it. That would be great. The other, the other thing about it, Mike, is like it's a process that is continually being re, uh, refined. And so, like, I was, I was, you know, as we were, you were saying this, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I wouldn't want to even show people something that happened seven months ago because what we have today is like way better, you know, like, and and that's that's again, like, you, you know, we're learning at, you know, we're in the trenches, we're on the field. Um, and so that's the reason why it's able to go. Let me talk about this bottom of the funnel, guys. Because bottom of the funnel is something I'm so, so proud of and I'm so happy to share with you guys. Awesome. What we found, and this is actually from Mike, um, you know, he was like pointing this out. He's like, hey, dude, focus on your onboarding. Why don't you focus on your onboarding sequence, right? And so uh, he doesn't talk like that. But, but um, yeah, I'm like, all right, fine, I'll fine. I'm gonna listen to you finally. And what happens is that we've developed an onboarding sequence that goes out for the next for six months, basically. So 
the sale gets made, you know, we collect money. We have um, a launch call. How many hours do you think you spoke to me in the last year? How many hours? Yeah, do you think that you spoke to me? Oh, they were all well, I speak to None of it was every, every single second was theory crafting, reporting, yeah, right. focus, coaching. How many hours do you think? I don't know, maybe like conservatively five hours, 10 hours a week. And then so multiply seven by, hours a week? Yeah, I say seven hours a week and multiply that by 50. Yeah, so seven times 50, you 350, right? I think so. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and, and, and the last 12 months. Long, second, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, it was all intense, right? Oh, I mean, no, no. And, and it, well, not only was it all intense, but it was also like personalized. It wasn't like, it wasn't like, hey, here's some random thing you should know. It's like, hey, I've noticed that well, this but, is something that's, that's going been on. Developing this beautiful, this beautiful, for years, people, <laughs> I have wanted to share what I do. Of course, I would love to, like, I'm, I'm an unbelievable rags to riches success story. I, I literally grew up in such poverty, such violence, such just it was rough and, and i just killed it you know but it was never really so many of the things like having your own instagram how much do you think i've made off of having my own instagram a, a a jillion but it was never accessible before michael made it um like a a, a, a like a katana for, for agency, like yeah. a like a lightsaber no i mean like this yeah. the, the way the way this instagram and all the other elements that these guys have is so much like a Jedi lightsaber. And when you get in sales domination, they hand you your lightsaber and they show you how to use it. And people run around they're like, oh my God, this is awesome. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, okay, no, that's good. That's good. But let's, you know, let's use it a little differently than that. But that's good, right? But it, it, it is that powerful, uh, Michael, because it, it just cuts through all the noise that people are hearing otherwise. Um, when you're talking to clients because of this funnel uh, and because they feel like the smart people feel that this part's coming. Yeah, right. they do. And so they are wrapped attention, Michael. Yeah. Well, on the bottom, and the thing is, like, we worked on the onboarding process for a couple of months, and we continue to refine it. And then that onboarding process then feeds the sales process. So it's almost as, as it's like where we know what an amazing client relationship looks like. And then we sort of invert that and we add it to the sales process. I, I hope this isn't too theoretical for you guys. The main point of it is, it's so like, how do you really create beautiful. the I'm best so clients? That this is I, I, I'm so glad that this information is out there uh, yeah. because, because it doesn't like, listen to what he said. Okay. So just don't think about this for a second. Think about this. So this is people in, all right, this is what happens after people are in. Okay. Profit uh, maximization. Okay, let, let, let me do this. Like, like, like I might be just being uh, overly confusing for no reason. So let me, let, let's pull up a screen share because what Michael's saying is is so unprecedented and it's why this works because it's contradiction free the vectors all go in the same direction with what michael's saying and he worked so hard to make this possible for you he worked so hard uh, eric i mean these guys were animals joe and greg supported them me and david and they broke through and, and we broke through we all broke through. it was uh, absolutely amazing so we, we want you guys to break through yeah we all broke exactly because it's all uh, based on breakthroughs. So, okay, so here's here's just a simple uh, uh, editor. This is a snag, it's fine. Uh, nothing special, okay. Um, so let's go to just a line tool, um, a pen tool, I guess. And uh, this should be fine. Michael, do you, do you, you're, you're seeing this fine, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing it fine. Yeah, you got it, it's so an hourglass. This, so this is the idea, that's an hourglass, right? All right, so let me back up. So a funnel, is normally thought to be like this okay get people in at all costs and then you know money comes out and that's there there's nothing especially wrong with it except that what if instead you almost started which is what we actually really did that is what we did we started at the bottom started at the bottom and now we're here okay. that song came on i was driving the the dawn today and that song came on. I've thought about all of us. I really did. The universe is speaking to us. No, because I mean, God, I definitely started from the bottom. Um, so, okay. Um, so the idea is if you, through real world experience, really knew what was in here, right? In yep. this ideal, let's imagine that this beaker right here, um, like a container, like, you know, this is, of course, a, uh, 
you know, a water bottle. Okay, so, so this is like a beaker and it contains, uh, let's just say an $80,000 uh, uh, per month agency. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Oh, much income stream, profit stream. No more. This is the guy who you made $80,000 for last month. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's yes. what's Thank in you. the bottle. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yes, you're and right. That is it. Yeah. You take that and mm -hmm. you use that to inform and empower the funnel. So yep. Eric and Michael, yes, they're not getting angry clients at all, but does that mean that they have to um, talk in shrimpy terms with them and be all scared of them? No, they're able to be bold and brassy. That's what I meant, like a freaking lightsaber, right? Like a lightsaber yeah. bad. Well, you got a lightsaber. I mean, come on. Like, it's a, come on. Right. It, it feels great. You know, it, it really does. It, it feels great to be able to deliver that to people, you know, and to be able to deliver that experience to people. You so know? open up that Instagram one, one last time. We can basically like kind of. Uh, I've got, I've got, a, I got just, uh, just three, three things I have to say about this bottom of the funnel, oh guys. Better. For, you, for you to understand is um, what we've been able to release in sales domination. Like there's modules and there's training about how to onboard your client so that they absolutely like trust your process wholeheartedly as they should. Um, it shows you how to upsell. That's another big thing we've been working on for months, figuring out the best way well, to upsell right. your clients without adding Those complexity to your business. Are stacking you on their shoulders and running. They're, they're, they are shouting from rooftops with bullhorns about your guys. Uh, uh, you have yeah. one client who's gotten you uh, five uh, additional clients and another client it's gotten you even more than that I mean this yeah, is well, well that's well that's the third piece which is the referral game and the referral game is something that we've we've uh, we're, we've locked it down I mean it, the the way right now like our growth through referral is like you know 4x what we're doing you know with with the other the other funnel but the reason why is because we built it out on the bottom the reason why that bottom is so fat is because we're able to get clients to triple their spend with us we're able to get clients to stay with us forever you know and then the third thing is we've been able to get so many referrals because we've locked in our referral game and so that's what makes it so fat on the bottom that plus you know you get better at SEO the more sales that you get. And so, um, especially if you're taking this niche approach, something we talk about a lot on the team calling sessions is, hey guys, you know, this week we made this adjustment in our ClickUp process. Hey guys, we made this way, adjustment in our- That's the reason to, uh, to stick to some sort of a niche or theme is because referrals come hot and heavy. I mean, my God. They come hot and heavy, but you can also get way better results for people. You know, you get yeah. way better results from people, which right. means you feel great. You're not scared of your clients. You feel great about what you're able to do. You know, you're able to sit, have like, I mean, this morning I had two client update calls and they were all just amazing. It was like, it was like literally, you know, just, just like them being so happy and, and me saying like, well, you know, thank you so much, you know, for, for trusting us and for partnering with us. And next month we're going to go over this other thing. Cause again, it's a six month onboarding process. So we, we, every month we have something mapped out that we talk to clients about. So we educate them on their process, which makes them stick around it. Like it future, it proofs them out from any other SEO company trying to scoop them because we basically have this process where we turn them into SEO ninjas, we train them into our process. So this way, if anybody calls them up or something, they actually know more about SEO than any other salesperson would ever, uh, you know, uh, ever know. And that makes them stick with us even more. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so, so we have some big pointers here. Let, let me change the color of this one so it stands out uh, from, the, uh, from the other one. Uh, let's change it to to uh, to that. I'll make this a little bit a little bit smaller. Okay, so it's a little bit of a uh, chemistry concoction here. We're doing some alchemy here. Um, so what you're saying is, and and this is how me and David do things. So like we start with the idea. Like in the case, like this is exactly what I was saying to Michael and Eric uh, six months and a year ago. Okay, I was walking around this construction site in Nashville before we moved back to uh, uh, to Florida. I remember the conversations, and I was like with what you've already gotten the ball rolling on, because you've gotten the ball rolling, and boy, have they gotten the ball rolling with their agency, e even through the, the hard early days of COVID. 
Um, they've gotten the ball rolling. And I was like, look, let's get these guys successful and talk about that. Right. Like, and like, and have that rather than kind of racing to kind of feed the machine that wasn't necessarily refined as it could be. Right. Uh, when you're still a little bit smaller, when you still had a little bit more uh, personal time while you're figuring out the funnel, uh, a big X factor is referrals. Now, what we did was we imagined, we literally imagined, Michael, your clients making a hundred thousand dollars extra a month and saying to their golf buddy, Hey man, I just made a hundred thousand dollars last month. You need to give this guy a call. Yeah. We, we've that's, had people, we've had people um, so happy with the process that they, they want to meet people in their field and they're using us as a way to meet people. They're like, oh, wow, you know, these guys are like the real deal in SEO. And they're like, you know, they're sort of leveraging um, their relationship with us to meet people so that they can give us referrals. But then that, so they can have relationships. Oh, the, like kind of people you know they I mean? look like look up to. Well, yeah, well, so like, for example, I got this one client I was talking last week and he was saying, um, because he, he's relatively new and he was saying, he's like, yeah, you know, um, I'm meeting, um, I'm meeting up with these plumbers and these electricians and these roofers and um, I'm, I'm talking to them about you as a way for me to yeah, cause you're a draw. build out his network. Exactly. And, 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 and yeah. how often do you think that he is showing your Instagram to anybody who will listen? Right. And people yeah. in sales domination, you get access. And really, like, like if you're a map frame maker, of course you can refer back to uh, to their Instagram. That, that's valid. But like, boy, I mean, it's again, it's a lightsaber inside of sales domination because it's personal coaching and it's personally tailored to you. Like, you know, you're it's group coaching in the sense that you get on these webinars. Uh, we're, we're close with the people that are on. We care about them. We're you know, we're eye to eye with them. But this is such a beautiful because what a way to build the top end of the funnel is just start by just painstakingly, lovingly putting these factors together, saying, hey, the DNA is going to be that we are going to freaking get referrals because and we upsells are, and upsells. I should say upsells. Absolutely. Um, and big sells. That's another thing that Michael. Big sell. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Mike. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That was another thing. When we started the agency last year, we were doing, we were like taking on some 750 jobs. We were taking on some thousand dollar jobs. Like, no, 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 no. That's all com completely out the window. Oh, you know? yeah. And it just, the bar gets yeah. higher. Like if you're. Yeah, and actually that's why some of our members have grown so much faster yeah. is because right out of the gates, they're charging more because they know that they can. Yeah. If you're not in sales domination, you're, you're, you're probably losing out on a bit you know, on average, $2,000 a week in recurring income that you'd be get, adding, I would say. Like some, some would be more, some would be, you know, maybe a bit less, but maybe not. Um, so, okay, so this is the ugly top of the funnel. I didn't do a very good job of that. Let's redo that. Looks a little strange there. Um, so we have, now we have our top of the funnel. And we have a funnel, right? But it's informed by this beautiful experience at the bottom of the funnel. So yes. instead of having to be these brilliant script writers, copywriters, whatever that people have to be, although we have that, we have David Mills, we have Eric Brief, you know, we have Dan Anton, we have it, right? We have me, we have Michael, right? But, but, we're, we're, but we're, you know, fighting a rigged fight. We're, we're shooting ducks in a barrel because our thing is connecting the dots all the way from here to here. We are promising this client, we're, what we're selling is this beautiful experience, this is so hilarious, this beautiful experience of paying attention to how great of a job we're doing for you, and then we're selling them on leaving us alone and just referring people to us. Yeah, that's true. So it's true. beautiful and being appreciative, the whole thing. So the, 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 the reality. I tell, I tell clients in the launch call, I'm like, look, we're going to talk for the next six months. And then after that, it's probably going to be once every three months, once every four months. Because, you know, we want to make sure that. Here's you know, Michael, they're busy too. Yeah, they are. Like, yeah. like, like, like we can even, you know, we can throw in is even like a little quip, like, you know, because who knows, by, by then you might uh, be buying a new fish, you know, buying Thank a fish. You're taking the fam on a vacation and I don't want to be bugging you. Jesus, my, Mike, you just, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're, well, we're, we're putting that in. Especially if that's an anecdote then. Yeah. Yeah. And yes, so now, yeah. now you'll be looking for that anecdote, but where are you going to look for it? Here. At the bottom. Yeah. Right. 
right? Yeah, no, I, I already have it. I already have it because we have one of our right. most successful clients. He tripled his business in 2020 um, with the help of, of the SEO, a huge help with the SEO. And I was I was, uh, I was was looking at him on Instagram and he's like, yeah, he's traveling with his family. It's great. Yeah, it's beautiful though. Like, uh, yeah. dude, post that on your Instagram. So uh, literally, uh, we can mm -hmm. work on how to do it. Okay, so look, if you're doing clients, the golden disc right here, the, the disc that I know has made people the most money, um, you're also, if you're competently doing that, if you really want to know how to get to those, you know, SEO paychecks, e-commerce paychecks, same freaking thing. You get into SEO, you do SEO competently. I do it, right? And you are 90% of the way because there, there's like this, this overlay or overlap. So there's every reason to do clients, but to do it freaking well. You do yeah. clients well, and I, and it. When I say 90%, it might be 95%. It might be 98%. I just want to be like a little bit, you know, reasonably conservative. Um, and especially if you're in traffic tsunami or director's cut 2021, this is such a no-brainer. Because if you do, now, I, I don't mean if you think about client consulting, you're 90% of the way to success with affiliate marketing. No, that's not what I meant. I mean, if you're competent and growing with your client basis, then you can very, very safely assume that you are rapidly advancing on your skills. What yeah. did Michael say? You want to get good at SEO, get a bunch of clients and let them pay. Yeah, and, and why, guys? Like just to just to make it even even more clear, is it's like, you know, if if you're Pretty working on a client, better. each new client is a new project that you're working on. So, you know, if you rack up 10 clients, like you literally have 10 SEO client 10 SEO projects that you're working on. So you, you're constantly you're getting up paid. knowledge. Like you are getting paid for this. And yeah, yet you're getting paid to have, learn. Yeah. But, and yet you don't have to be Greg Morrison. You don't have to backstop it like Greg does, right? Greg sits there, he builds a big fortress. Greg built a fortress of a thousand websites. So there's nowhere for Google to go. He builds every algorithm difference that those sites can have. He has a whole, it's like Skyweb or something like that. It's like a, a safe, you know. Yeah. Michael, you don't have to do that. You don't have a thousand websites, but you have several dozen websites that pay you huge money yeah. and get huge results. You do tracking. You're tracking all the way to the invoice right now. Can you, can you open up that Instagram one final time and talk to us about tracking to the invoice? And we'll wrap things up with that. And and yeah, definitely so, domination. Yeah, so, so, so tracking domination twenty twenty one. Let let let's do the uh, the old link rooney. Let, uh, let's do the um. Let's show the Instagram one last time, and then uh, you know, let people know. Yeah, how to I, do. I don't. I'm not sure if uh, I'll, I'll. We can certainly talk about this and share this with people. We need to because it's it's a very powerful thing. You know, and it's a really powerful concept that everyone really needs to understand. Um, I'm not sure if I have um if I can show it to you on the Instagram, but I can certainly talk to it. And right. um, what we realize is that um, this is very particular to our niche. Um, any home services, by the way, has this capability. And I'm, I'm almost, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain that, uh, although I, I don't know for sure because I haven't actually been there, but um, any like professionals, like lawyers, and then also like doctors and stuff would have this as well, is that in these industries, um, it's fairly common for them to have a software that allows them to track like which clients, you know, equaled like which, you know, how much revenue. And so with some of our clients, depending on what software they have in-house, we can connect our call tracking to their invoice software. And the result of that is at the end of the month, we can, you know, we ask for their logins, you know, for their their uh, invoice software, their booking software. So at the end of the month, we can go in and we can actually like say, look at like, okay, here are all the calls you got from SEO. Here are the number of customers you got from SEO. Here are, here's like the dollar amounts. And every time we've checked, it's never been less than $50,000 like per month. There, it's always, always insanely high. Um, and it's great when you're able to connect those dots for your clients because, you know, now your clients are really secure in the return on investment. And the other thing, just again, you know, niche in, niche in, riches in the niches, you know, um, is because what you can then also do is become a real niche expert. You can look at the reports on the invoices or in that invoice software, and you can start generating reports for your clients. You can just say like, hey, look at your average ticket. Although inside of sales domination, Eric really does that for you with a niche. Yeah. Uh, the special, I mean, Eric has logged in his mind all of these facts about all of these niches. He's like Rain Man. 
Um, you just said something, and you it's so funny. Like, I literally, like, it, it, the one moment I got up to go get a, uh, a glass of water. <laughs> you start running back to your computer. <laughs> I, I was running back to my computer. Because Michael Tesalona managed to blow past. In, in his, his, this is how you know the guy, he's not a sales guy. He's, he's, he's a real coach. He's got the heart of a coach, and he's so passionate about it. So much so that he blew past the fact that he said, that every single time that the customer has lifted their skirt and let them, you know, let Michael and Eric know their real numbers, that they have never been making the client less than thousand yeah. dollars a month. I remember the first time I even conceived of making fifty thousand dollars in a month. It was in two thousand three. Like end of two thousand three. I was talking to David Mills about it. And the first just concept of like, Wow. Like I made like I, I did this thing, I made ten thousand and then I made another ten thousand. It was highly unreplicatable, but I did it. So I made twenty thousand dollars. And I started, but it was such a one off thing. But I was thinking to myself, I said to David, I was like, I know we can make fifty thousand dollars a month. And that, that concept it just stuck with me, the craziest thing. But to that's awesome do it for clients, because that's your dad, Michael. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, true. no, yeah. I mean, that's that's the thing that that's the, I love I love my clients. I really I really do. You know, it's they're they're great people. They're you know salt of the earth people. Um, you know, they they uh, they run really great businesses. You know, they're always one of the things that I'm actually really proud of. So um, now we're in March. So the way that works in our industry is that um, <clears throat> they give awards out at the end of the year based off of like you know no, a number of sales for h for you know for the ac guys you know number of sales and then also like you know reviews and things like that and it's funny because i was doing i've been doing these calls and like all of my clients are like yeah we just got this this president's award put it on our website to get that on the instagram yesterday you have yeah. got to get that on the instagram yesterday okay thank you thank you that, yeah that's so no, critical you. people love awards this is another right. like this is what a beautiful day today was. What a magnificent uh, right, event. Right, to do uh, and this is the reason to join, I don't even wanna call it sales domination anymore. I wanna call it <laughs> funnel domination. So I want you to go to domination2021.com and join what I am now proclaiming to be funnel domination. We are a funnel factory. We are a free funnel factory. And Michael, can you uh, walk people through the elements of the offer? And then we'll uh, we'll conclude. Beautiful, beautiful training, beautiful webinar, uh, magnificent. Yeah. So um, all you guys got to do is, um, well, I am showing my screen here. Go to um, domination2021.com. Um, you'll get redirected, and you'll land on. Yeah, you'll land on on this page. So someone had asked, is sales domination like the next version of Super Soldier? It's kind of like a, a giant leap forward from uh, from Super Soldier, and it's uh, the party's just getting started guys it's getting stronger and stronger so um yeah so here's where you sign up you just put your email your phone number get the credit card details in there um it's 199 uh for 18 months um same refund policy as before you know we don't we don't offer refunds um this is insane training um and an, an enormous enormous value for you guys um we've had people who are coming in in the first 30 days getting you know multiple two thousand dollar per month seo deals so if you're taking this um if you're giving it the um the importance that it really deserves uh, considering the impact that it can have on on your life and on, on everyone else's life around you um this is an absolute steal at 199 a month uh for 18 Michael, months uh, Fr uh, frankie joined in uh december after uh grant uh grant cardone and frank kern uh uh, went out of business for um, incompetence with their funnel, um, and uh, but, yeah, but I mean, what that do you? Is it essentially that is it? Yes. If you have to fire 50 people, like what a disgrace to, yeah. to fire 50 people overnight, no notice whatsoever. Um, it's just uh, you know kind of pathetic. But anyways, because their funnel just didn't work, like that was it. But Frankie, mm -hmm. um, who is just terrified of talking to people, uh, terrified of doing sales. He went from zero to ten thousand dollars a month since December. That's just, you know not even ninety days ago. Peter, yeah, from Germany, uh, joined it at the same time. He's uh, maybe a little on the overachiever side of things. Peter has made over two hundred thousand dollars collected. He showed us. Let me let me pull this up. I gotta have this thing somewhere. 
Do you have it somewhere? Uh, re really quickly, guys. You know, you'll get immediate access to the Facebook group um, where you're you're surrounded by other heavy hitters, people who are really on a quest to do something special with their agencies. Very and then heavy. you also get immediate access to the um, you know to the the sales domination um, you know training area. I spend a lot of time, guys, at the client onboarding and automations. I think that's a, a really really special uh, uh, part right there. Um, let me. I, I can stop my share. Um, Mike, you had asked if I had Peter's something. Yeah, I actually have it. I just pulled it up. Um, okay. Let me share this with attendees. Let's go to, but this has been a wonderful webinar. This is just, uh, it would almost have been a, a real shame if somehow this hadn't happened. Uh, of course, it kind of always was probably going to happen, but I'm like almost like pinching myself like, dang, dang I'm so glad we did this webinar. Uh, so going to sharing, Let's let's make me, the presenter, let's share this preview window. This is so beautiful. So this happened, this is a, a classic, a classic cooked up in Amsterdam moment, classic OMG moment. Mm. This is Peter's skyrocketing, skyrocketing success from Germany, translating uh, sales domination over to German. Um, so proud of Peter. He shared uh, this during our last webinar way over 250,000, I assume that's uh, euros or, or whatever. Yeah, it looks like 280, 290 even. Yeah, I know, it's even higher. I was, of course, you're, you're so right though. I mean, I was looking here, but it just has continued to pile up and pile up. I know there's recurring and stuff like that. So anyways, I- uh, You see that big jump came right after he joined Sales Domination. Oh December. yeah, and it just works hand in hand with us. Yeah, he, he worked really hard in, taking all of our training. I think he actually, like he, he um, really had to immerse himself because he was translating everything into German. So because of that, he um, paid extra special attention. And you know, and not to say that you guys need to translate into a language to be successful. Like you guys have it, you know, yeah, you have access to these materials, but yeah. look what, uh, look what Peter was able to accomplish. And he was very literal. Training. That's what he said when, when he translated it. He said he was extremely literal in translating it rather than taking artistic license or putting his own spin on it. He never, we did this long interview with him because we wanted to know. And he's like, look guys, I'm telling you, I took what you said and I did it. And then I took the traffic tsunami, direct cut software agency engine, I put it together and the explosive results. This is why I'm saying, you know, if you're not in sales domination, uh, number one funnel domination, I'm calling it now, um, you know, we're going to close registration and that's it. Uh, you know, we'll probably have some sort of a, a backdoor access at some point for people, uh, perhaps in Mass Raymaker or something like that. But, um, and, and, you know, kind of conditionally based or something. But overall, we're closing for the season. And it's been great. I mean, we've, this has been a magnificent event. Um, you know, we, we open, we proudly open sales, uh, sales domination. I'm calling it domination 2021. I reserve the right funnel domination. That's what I think we're really doing here. Uh, of course, there's the sale at the end, but that's first the funnel happens. It's like that'd be like um, like if Thor like to just totally beat somebody up with a hammer, and then you know like a little like a little guy walked up to the guy and pushed him, and then the guy fell over, you know, and you're like, wow, you know, yes, the sale happens, right? You push the guy over, but by the time we're asking for the money, Michael, they've gone through such funneling, such scripting, such sequencing. Um, we, you know, there's so much that's going to, so many experiences that are going to happen on the back end for them that we've described to them. And yeah, just, we've planted you know, the seeds. We planted it, the it, seeds for everything. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, so so by the time we're asking for the money, I mean, that's why I feel like, I almost feel like it's disingenuous at this point calling it sales domination. I just yeah. feel like this. No, you're right. I agree with you. Yeah. Funnel domination in a way that it's never been. Domination2021.com. We're gonna be open for um, till tomorrow. We're gonna to close at midnight tomorrow. Uh, Michael can set a uh, little uh, countdown timer rumor, uh, uh, countdown time Rooney on the uh, the page, and and jump in with us. Jump in with sales domination, even if uh, even if it's a matter of you're starting from scratch, you've never done anything. You know, you really want to do it. If you're on this call, if you're at this point in our funnel, um, then you really care. You're somebody who's really invested. Um, you know, you've got probably something on your mind. Uh, you're ready to make a move. If you're ready to make a move, this is the place to make a move. Michael was ready to make a move. That's why he made, he quit his job. He, he quit the job first. He was like, oh, I got to make this move, right? 
uh, just like Dan Anton did, just like uh, Eric Reef did. These guys all quit their jobs in advance and then went on to build $80,000 a month agencies by making their customers $80,000 a month or more in many cases. So it's an unbelievable win-win. Our transparency is legendary with this. We've shown you the uh, Instagram.com slash PM now underscore SEO. Instagram.com slash PM now underscore SEO. <laughs> uh, it's beautiful. It's magnificent. It's something yeah. that's never existed. Yeah, and, and getting better even from this webinar. Now, now we've got a few uh, tips to make it even better. It's great. Better. Show, show clients on vacation, show clients awards. Thank you, Mike. Oh, big time though. Big time. And those awards, trust me. That 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 adds up. Uh ladies and gentlemen, you are uh officially welcomed. I'm overwhelmingly endorsing uh funnel domination 2021 with Michael and Eric. Uh, I've spent hundreds of hours helping prepare this program uh by helping prepare the reality of it, not by not by saying, oh, make this video that says this or that. No by being in the trenches, building my agency, right? Practicing what I preach. I uh, I made uh, enough money uh, from Eric and Michael's advice to buy a whole another Rolls Royce Don, just saying that. No, no question. Cash, easily. What, what color is this one gonna be? <laughs> yeah, you could buy it, you're not buying it, certainly. I've been looking at Lamborghini but, yellow. Cause oh, okay, yeah? Think about it. Yeah, cause there's this, all right, so there's this Lamborghini Urus, which is the SUV, and it's in my garage and it's Lamborghini yellow and it I don't like the Urus. I I, I can't connect yeah. with it. Yeah. And I can't connect with SUVs. Maybe at some point with Cassia if her modeling career goes really great, maybe she'll get one. I don't know. But I can't connect with SUVs. I just like the Dawn so much and the convertible. But man, that but that Lamborghini yellow. Mm, hard to beat. I don't know if I get two. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. But bottom line is I could buy a a uh another one with what uh, what I've made. So um, this is a beautiful process. David Mills wanted me to bring this to you. David Mills is the one who envisioned this relationship once he met Michael and Eric. He's the one who's been the head coach looking over things like, you know, while, uh, you know, wh while I've been uh, chucking passes right and left and, and Eric and Michael have, have uh, caught everything and, and, and then some. Um, and, and don't forget the yards after completion. There's a lot oh, of yards no after one. completion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and you know what? Don't forget the touchdowns. Hell yeah. Hell oh, yeah. Touchdowns. That's a great way to end. That's so amazing. Uh, I, I loved this year's Super Bowl. It was my favorite football game I've ever watched because it was a complete end to end butt kicking and that's what i want for you i want total end to end butt kicking that's why we did this program would you say domination why. maybe even domination domination <laughs> domination. Yes. Well, that's domination 2021 uh we're wrapping up for the season tomorrow at midnight we will see you on the inside even if this is uh I don't, I hate reinforcing and reinforcing this, but it's such a great program. It's such a great place for beginners. It's such a great culture. You're surrounded. This is Eric and Michael. They, these are young guys. They're making their move right now. You don't know how long this kind of thing is going to last. And this is at least their current Zenith. And it's shocking. We're what just heating up guys. Dollars a month. What, 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 what uh, Dan and Greg have credited them with $80,000 a month, the way that this interlocks perfectly. With uh, with traffic tsunami and director's cut 2021, especially with the agency engine, there's even training in there from Michael and Eric on how to use agency engine their way. It's beautiful. So we will uh, we'll see you inside. Just jump in. There's it's an utter no brainer. Uh, I totally am 100% behind this brand. Proud of my involvement with it. D don't know what I would do without it. You know, we've uh, David Mills said it. He he said that we you're welcome. He said that we like the cooked up in Amsterdam thing. It just <clears throat> Just pushing, like, just pushing being an SEO factory and and too much leading the funnel factory to the wind was burning us out, you know, because I would have to, and I'm, you know, I'm great at something, but, you know, I'm not Greg right. Morrison at SEO, and I'm great at something. I'm not you and Eric when it comes to this, um, and I, and yet I could do so much for you guys in particular, mm -hmm. assuming that it exists. I you do have. Time. I mean, 
the program yeah, that do, like my thumbprints are all over yep. uh, 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 funnel domination. I mean, almost like every ch second or third or fourth video in some way, shape or form, like I had intense conversations uh, with Mike and Eric about it, focused on it, worked together, joined forces, linked arms, marched together and crushed it. I mean, it is, it is a product of pure triumph. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> God bless everybody. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, on the inside, domination2021.com. Funnel factory. Free <laughs>